Okay, so a bit of an update on my 5K challenge. I realize now that this is being very dragged out. Um, <laughs> it's becoming a bit of a joke how long this has been. Uh, we've had several interruptions as you know early on with lockdowns we're still in lockdown in the uk um, i didn't have access to a track for about six weeks of my eight week challenge which is now turned into a four month challenge um, we went to dubai which i was going to do the 5k attempt out there but then the rules changed in the uk which meant that we had to fly home quickly um, when we got back we were asked to do the z pro series which i'm now currently doing and I've decided that I'm going to be doing the 5K as soon as that series finishes, which is in two weeks time. I think I'm gonna smash it. I'm confident I am. Um, I realize it's meant to be an eight week training program that's turned into a 16 week training program. So I should do a PB. But yeah, doing a 5K max effort on top of the Z Pro series is probably a little bit unsensible. Um, it's maximal effort on the Wednesday evenings with the race and then doing a 5K on top of that. I don't want to risk injury or anything like that, so I will be doing it as soon as that series finishes. Um, good, but not so good when it's like this. It's hard on your breathing as well. I think it's about, what is it, about two degrees at the moment? Three degrees? Yeah, three degrees. So yeah, not quite used to that, but we're back, so I can't complain. training is pretty different to what it normally would be. We're normally kind of in our main base phase, just doing long, slow, steady miles. But because of the nature of what we're doing at the moment with the Z Pro and some racing on the horizon, such as Challenge Miami and maybe some shorter distance racing following that, we have been doing some really short, intense training. So obviously the Z Pro works as a great training session. We're doing some really hard sessions at the track and we're doing some pretty hard riding on the bike as well. So at the moment, everything is quite short and sharp, very different to what we normally do as triathletes, but actually very similar to what we used to do back in our swimming days. So we both really enjoy this kind of training and get a lot from it, but it's a lot less kind of massive miles than we're used to, but I'm actually really enjoying it at the moment. Yeah, this pandemic has kind of made us have to adapt and change our training on the spot. We would normally be in Lanzarote doing a big base phase, as Lucy said, but at the moment we basically just have to race whenever there is a race. 
and the first one coming up is um, not even a half distance, it's somewhere between an Olympic and a half, which means that we're having to adapt our training to be a little bit more fast and furious. Um, no sign of any Ironmans on the horizon yet, so we are going to pretty much stay in this sort of shorter distance phase until we know for definite that we'll be doing a long course race hopefully sometime in the spring or summer. So with swimming pools being shut in the UK, it's been really difficult for us to swim, but fortunately we've been concentrating on our bike and run. And also, as you can see, we've had some snow, which means most of our training has actually been indoors at the moment, uh, which also leads really nicely into this C Pro series. So we're very fortunate that we've been able to have a setup for pretty much all of this pandemic at the gym. Um, we had the last C Pro series where we dialed in our positions with the Zwift setup. Lucy's got her setup, I've got mine. The only thing we had to adapt was to introduce another treadmill into the gym that was fast enough for both of us to do the run section on. Um, I had a few hiccups the first week where the treadmill wasn't bolted down properly. Okay, so last week we bought this Techno Gym My Run treadmill into the gym so that both Lucy and I could run at the same time. We do have a second treadmill, but it's ancient and it only goes up to about probably 3.45 per kilometer, which wouldn't have got me any points at all in this race. So anyway, we bought this in and I had about two good kilometers on it and then after that, because it's so light and I was running at a pace on it, it basically just dislodged from the floor and was on a complete angle. Um, so much so that my dad actually had to come and hold it still uh, just so that I could finish the run. So this week we have done a little bit of DIY. Um, I've attached a plank of wood to the side and in front of each leg so it can't go left, right, and it can't go backwards and forwards. So we're hoping this week, actually, I'll be able to run on this at a proper pace without the treadmill moving from underneath me. But yeah, fingers crossed. Yeah, we've got a really good setup and it's perfect for the Z Pro series and also just training in general. Yeah, I think um, you'll probably gather from kind of seeing how much is going on doing the Z Pro. We've got three different races going on. We're racing back to back. There's me racing on the bike, followed by Reese switching around. So it is very chaotic in there, but obviously we're quite lucky. We've got a decent amount of room to move around each other and not interfere with one another. At the moment, I don't even want to jinx it, but we have a pretty good internet connection in there, which is a really crucial part of Zwift racing, is that you need to have that fast connection because dropouts just basically mean you're out of the race. So it's another element in the e-racing that just obviously doesn't play a factor in real life racing. So we're very fortunate that we've kind of invested time into setting that up during the first lockdown. We wanted to make sure that that was all sorted. Um, I'm actually running on the Woodway treadmill, which is super tough to run fast on, but it's just that little bit softer. So for me, I'm far more niggle injury prone than Reese. So I'm putting him on the smaller Techno Gym treadmill. So he has to suffer that moving a bit. I've got the luxury of the Woodway, which is really sturdy, but obviously actually to run at that top end speed on there is really tough. So I'm pretty happy that I'm actually able to run at the speed needed to get those maximal points, even on the Woodway treadmill. So strategy wise with the Z Pro, obviously we've done two weeks worth of the racing. I feel like both weeks have had slightly different tactics. Um, the first week, the run was slightly less important the way the points were structured. Whereas on the second week, Zwift actually changed the rules so it made the run have a lot more importance. So I actually felt like I needed to get those maximal 20 points, whereas the week before I only got 16. So pretty much it came down to the wire on this second week that me, Meredith Kessler and Beth Potter were all tied on points. So the final race was so important. And obviously there's sprint banners in the middle, which did play a factor. And since we were all tied, it meant that the final finish line would determine our position. So I knew I had to go all in on that final one. So it is so much more tactical than racing in the real life. You've obviously got power ups, you've got drafting, you've got all different elements that play a factor. So I feel like every week I'm learning. Um, I still don't think I've got it 100% right, but I'm definitely improving week on week on how I should race these. But the main part, part of all of it is just just getting that amazing training session from it. It's just so tough. There's absolutely no way I'd work that hard at like 7 p.m. on a Wednesday night normally. So I just love having that really hard workout. Yeah, for me, tactically, I think 
probably less so than Lucy. I'm just literally going there to try and get the best training stimulus out of it as I can. Uh, so I sort of throw caution to the wind on the first bike and the run. And then I'm a lot more tactical on the last one on the crit race where the points really count. Um, personally, I've just been looking at my numbers from the first week and on the second week I was like, right, I want to hit higher numbers on the time trial section than the previous week and I want to run quicker than the run section on the previous week and then everything to play for on the final crit race. Yeah, you've got to look good and you've got a match. So I've got, I'm going to go for pink socks tonight because I've put pink details on my Arium Cube TT bike so they're matching there. And I've got my Wahooligan kit for tonight, so that matches my Red Bull helmet and these pretty cool shoes that I've managed to unlock. Let's have a look where those shoes are. There they go, very cool. The stupid thing is though that every single thing is neutralised, so it doesn't actually matter what bike I'm on, what clothes I'm wearing, because they've made sure that we're all even on this. So. You want to look the best though, even if you're not doing that well. At least if you look good, then feel good and then probably win. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just activating my muscles, making sure that they are properly warmed up before we go into the Zwift race. Um, pretty much go from the gun at crazy watts. So I want to make sure everything's warm, don't want to be pulling no muscles, especially in the first leg when we got the run and then another bike to do after that. So yeah, using the Ferragun foam roller, which also doubles up as a vibrating massage tool. points there. I think I'm somewhere near the front so this is going to be all to play for now. I'm going to have to go for those com arches or quam arches um, and I think it's going to be brutal. My legs already feel like they're going to cramp up and we haven't started yet so yeah we'll just see how it goes. It's going to hurt but it's going to be fun. So that was a bit of a nightmare. Um, I had a dropout at the start. So for the first 15 seconds, my character was not really moving, running at like, well, I was running at 18 and a half on the treadmill and it said I was doing just under four. So um, I quickly went onto a pairing screen and repaired to the treadmill, managed to pick it back up, but lost about 15 seconds. And then I just went flat out, um, <laughs> thinking I was gonna die at like two or three K and at least scrape the uh, second tier points. But I felt good, carried on. Um, hit a PB 5K, I know it's on a treadmill, but um, did a 15, 40 something on the, on the treadmill. So for me personally, I know that my lactate levels are always higher on the treadmill than they are in the real world. So that's a promising sign for the 5K challenge. I'm really keen to do it, especially after doing that run. Yeah, I had a little bit of adrenaline boost there. I was a bit annoyed that my connection lost. So yeah, sometimes, Sometimes when you have a bit of bad luck and you have an adrenaline, um, you get a little bit of a spike. It's like, like if you get a puncture during a race, um, once you fix that puncture, sometimes you just go numb with like, oh, I've got to get back in the race. So it's a little bit of that kind of thing. But yeah, it's a promising sign and look forward to actually doing it in the real world. 
onto the bike. roughly so you're just going pretty hard for 20 minutes it's a race so it makes you just push that bit harder that you never would in a normal training session it's kind of fun you can call it kind of fun um, it definitely is fun when we're both racing it's pretty hectic in here because there's several setups going on uh, really happy with that so a uh, small PB in terms of numbers at the start in the uh, time trial 375 odd watts, something like that. PB on the run, uh, sub 16, 5k, 1540 something. Small dropout at the beginning of that, but managed to claw it back. And then wasn't sure what I'd had left in the end. Just gave it my all on every sprint. Paid off. I think I was second overall at the end, behind Anthony Costas. Um, I can't really say anything more than I'm really happy with that, and I need a good lay down now. <laughs> yeah so definitely the Z Pro series is just a great bit of motivation each week like like I said before we just wouldn't work that hard in a normal training session so just have that little bit of competition it, it's just really really fun actually like and I think I find it more fun because we're both doing it so we're both just in there suffering together and um, the only downside is because we've got quite a lot of adrenaline we've had a lot of caffeine and we're kind of just buzzing off our head at 9 p.m at night when we finish we just cannot sleep on a Wednesday night so our sleeping pattern does get thrown out a little bit although I'm not complaining because I know some of the guys over in like Australia, New Zealand way are racing at stupid o'clock in the morning so I would rather be racing at night than doing what they're doing so yeah hats off to them. Yeah also we we're very lucky because we was planning on doing a four to six week training camp in Dubai and with the potential of staying out there and racing the 70.3 there. Well, the rules changed and it meant that if we were going to come home from Dubai, we would be stuck with a 10 day quarantine in a hotel. So we decided to come home early and that derailed us a little bit. We wasn't really sure what we were doing with our training then. And fortunately, we got invited to do this Z Pro series. So it very quickly changed our focus back to something else. I think we probably would have been a little bit lost with what we were doing had we not had this series to focus on. So do you want to talk about when you did it wrong? Yeah, so on the first week on the crit race, I thought that I was winning, I thought I was the man, I thought like I was sprinting all the banners and getting first place in all of them, only to find out that I was sprinting the wrong banner. So I got zero points on that one. Um, but lesson learned, actually read the emails that get sent through with the course information the night before, rather than thinking that you'll be fine on the day. Also disclaimer, I was just really fortunate that on that first week I was going second because I could watch what Reese was doing and realise, okay, it's not that banner when I come to race and I probably would have done the exact same thing. So I was quite lucky I was going second that week. I've never really done this much intensity with swim, bike, run. Uh, I've done a lot of intensity focused on single elements. So like when I was a swimmer, obviously a lot of intensity there. At the moment, I'm doing a hell of a lot of intensity on running and now adding in the bike element with the Z Pro series, it's just compounding fatigue. Um, so I'm really concentrating on making sure I'm getting enough hydration, nutrition in at the right and key times. Switch to a two-in-one carb protein powder, which I take after pretty much every single session at the moment. I found that I'm dropping weight more than I normally would. I'm probably like the lightest I've ever been, but that's probably as a result of doing more intense running. Um, I don't want to be too light because I find that 
I start to lose power on the bike if I go too light, although it feels quite good running, it doesn't feel good on the bike. So I've actually had to try and lift my weight a little bit, which means I'm eating more than I perhaps feel like I, I want to eat, um, but it's just making sure I'm getting the right calories in and enough calories in is the most important thing. I think I probably would have done a PB after eight weeks had I had the opportunity to do it. Everything was on track for me running at that time around a, a sub 15, 30 for sure. Now, I'm not so sure where I'll be at, but I know it will be quicker than that. So yeah, I'm confident I'll beat that time, but by how much? Who knows, we'll find out in a couple of weeks. Yeah, so you may have seen, we have both decided to race in Miami at Challenge Miami in March. Loads of the top pros are gonna go and race. So I haven't towed a line, same as you, for about 15 months. So we just are craving a real life start line to go and do a race. It's a pretty cool distance because it's not quite a half, but it's longer than an Olympic distance. So I think it's gonna be a good way to test where we're at on a distance that we haven't really raced before. Um, mix it up with the best in the world and just excited to be able to go and do a race. Okay, thanks for watching our video with a little update about the Z Pro series and how our training is going at the moment. Yeah, and stay tuned, very soon I will be doing the 5K challenge. I know I've said that a few times already, but I will definitely be doing it in the next few weeks.